blue, 32. Hey, hey, hey. This isn't a football, but it is better, so I'm gonna go home and build this. Hey guys, it's Ben here at Lucas TV Toys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of our future awesome Lego videos. And in this video, I've got a Lego NFL field. Well, actually, it really isn't Lego. It's actually Oyo Sparks. But they're not a fake Lego brand because there's a difference between fake Lego and a Lego competitor. And I'll explain more about that later in the video. But OYO Sports has the official license agreement with NFL to make NFL products. Lego doesn't. So anyways, let's build it right now. But first I'm going to go over the box very quickly. So from the New England Patriots, we've got Tom Brady. From the Steelers, Antonio Brown. New York Giants, we've got Odell... Beckman, Beckman Jr., sorry about that, I always forget his name. And then we've got J.J. Watt from the Texans, Broncos with um, Von Miller, and then Richard Sherman with the uh, Seagulls. And this has 371 pieces, it's for ages 6 and up. And here you can see the football field. And on the back it shows the football field again, I'm pretty sure that's the exact same picture. Yeah, I think it is. And yeah, that's the exact same picture, just without that big football guy right there. And then on the bottom, it shows some other sets they sell for the NFL. And also right here, it says, You Build It! Works with major brands. In other words, it's Lego compatible. And on the side, it shows all the minifigures it comes with. It comes with six of them. And on the other side, it shows the football helmets. So now let's start building! Wait, not building. We gotta see what's inside the box. Then let's start building. In this box we've got, let me open this. All right, there we go, got it. <laughs> we've got a medium bag. We've got a very small bag, a big bag with three pieces and a few gray ones. Another medium bag, medium bag and a small bag. And then we've got, what's this? A box, and this is full of more bags. A lot of bags. Alright, let me get this open very quickly. Abacadabra scissors! There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to open up this box right here. Is it? Yep, yes there is. More tape. Let me take this off. There we go. No more tape. Another bag, big one, a big bag, base plate pieces for the field, and a random black piece. We've got the instruction booklet. And last but not least, we've got the bags with all of the minifigure football players. All right guys, I'm gonna build this with my dad because my dad is a big football fan and he said he wants to build this with me. So let's build it. Everybody, here's the completed NFL 
football field. And in the beginning of the video, I told you guys that I would tell you the difference between fake Lego and then a Lego competitor. So after I show you guys the features of this awesome football field, then I'll tell you the difference. All right, so first let's point out like the side stuff. Then we'll go to the main field. So here we've got two sideline benches, and then we've got an extra football right here. And then we've got the field goals right here on each side. And here we've got the NFL logo that looks very cool. And on top of it is an orange flag. And this is the only moving part in this whole buildable set. So on the other side, we've got a fake scoreboard. So this is fake because you can't like put any of the numbers up for, in case the team gets a touchdown. It's just stuck the way it is. But I think it still looks cool. Alright, so now to the main part, the field. So this is the red section which actually looks kind of maroon. And then here we've got the blue section that actually looks kind of purple. So the red section or maroon is supposed to be the American Football Conference or the AFC. And then this is the um, NFC, National Football Conference. So this is supposed to be like a Pro Bowl type of thing going on right here with the MVPs of all of the players on each team. But of course we didn't get like 50 football players, right? We only got six. And what I noticed is that on the box it gives you it shows you way more players than what they really give you. So I counted it and we have eight football players plus a referee. And we get no referee here and we only get six football players. And that's kind of annoying. And also I'm getting a little picky here. But I noticed that here we've got square pieces for, for, um, around the touchdown end zone areas. But actually they give you circle pieces. And also, it's wider on the box, the end zones. Uh-oh. <laughs> so yeah, I can complain a little bit about that. But overall, the set is really cool. So, um, so it doesn't have too many features. Really, like, the only moving part, like I said before, is this right here. But it's really fun to play with, just to pretend like these are the real football players and you can move the minifigures around and, like, this guy about to get a touchdown. So it's very fun for p playing. And also, if we get enough likes on this video, and if you leave a comment telling us if you want to see a stop motion football video with this Lego set, then let us know in the comments, and also give this video a like. If we get enough, we'll definitely do it. See, I just said Lego, even though this really isn't Lego, my mind is always focusing on Lego sets, because on this channel, we almost rarely do stuff like this. We almost always do Lego sets, so my mind is focused on Lego. And right now, that's a perfect time to s to talk to you about the fake Lego and then a Lego competitor. All right. So Oreo Sports isn't a fake Lego company because a fake Lego company would be, let's say, um, Lego. So Lego has the license agreement to do Lego Star Wars sets. But if another company came in and then they started making Lego Star Wars sets and just selling it cheaper exactly what Lego did without the Star Wars license, then that would be illegal and that would be fake Lego. But it wouldn't be fake Lego if, like this Lego set, they got the license agreement to do NFL sets and that isn't copying anything that Lego did. So this is not fake Lego to clear things up a little. All right, so let me move this aside. So I've got an analogy I want to tell you about. So um, Nike makes shoes, of course, and also Adidas and Reebok. So when Reebok and Adidas make shoes, they are not fake Nikes. They're just uh, competing with Nike. But let's say a company came in and then they started making shoes like Nike shoes, put the swoosh on here, put just do it, Michael Jordan or something like that, and just selling it cheaper. Now that is fake Nike. And if a company comes in and makes Star Wars sets that Lego made, that would be fake Lego. So if you have any comments about any of this, then let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to respond to you guys. Now I do want to tell you about the quality of this plastic and the actual Lego plastic that the company Lego gives you. Alright, so this plastic, it's not as good as the, as the actual Lego company. 
the actual Lego company gives you better plastic because this one is like you probably can't see this on camera but in real life you can see lots of scratch marks here especially on the flat pieces and also it gets sturdier easy and it's just not as good and it's like more flimsy if you hold one of these pieces and then you get a similar lego piece and hold it you can actually feel which one was made cheaper so this has cheaper plastic in it actually and also lego instruction booklets are better because they just do a few steps at a one time at once and all your spots they put like at least in this set 20 pieces on in one picture and it's kind of hard to track while you're putting the pieces and also on the box you can see that i already told you about this but it shows more many figures and this is wider and it just shows different stuff than what you actually get luckily lego doesn't do that so if you want some good plastic and a good quality toy, you should get Lego. But I'm not saying this is bad. This is very fun. Just that the quality isn't as good. But it's still very fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Lucas TV Toys and pick the notifications bell. So you don't miss out on any of our future awesome Lego videos. Because if you like toys, then you're like me. And if you're like me, then you love toys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, here are some of my other videos. And I know you're going to love them. So go ahead and watch them.